Hey guys, what's up? Devin here. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple dashboard app using Angular 4. For this purpose, I will be using a Zipport admin theme. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to get our Angular ID. So open your Chrome browser and visit geniaitic.com and select your preferred version. It's a multi-platform ID, so you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux too. After successfully downloading ID, launch your ID and you will get a skin something like this. So here we are creating a simple dashboard app using Angular 4. So follow these steps. First, click on new. Now select Angular project. Select Angular project. Now click next. Now insert your project name here. New. And one important step is to mark this option. Intelize project using the SP admin theme. Now click finish. It will take 2-3 minutes to successfully intelize our project. Since I have already intelized our project, so I don't need to run it again. After 2-3 minutes, we will get something like this. This is the direct structure of Angular 4. Now we have to open server for our app so go to angular cli and click on our project and right click and click start server it will take at least one minute to start your server after starting your server you will get a skill something like this since my server is already running now let's open it in chrome browser as you can see it's Oh, it's running on port 4200 so I am opening my chrome browser new tab localhost 4200 now let's wait ok it's loading so loading ok you will get a skin something like this since our app is not connected to database you can insert anything here quality or 1 2 3 4 and you will be redirected to dashboard so this is our dashboard this is our main dashboard as you can see you will get all the necessary elements for creating angular 4 app like dashboard charts tables charts tables forms bootstrap element bootstrap git component menu etc and it will save you a lot of time it's important it will save you a lot of time so let's take a quick overview of our code in our angular id so click on your project source folder click on app let's take an example of uh, um, home this is our main index.ts file it is automatic it is automatically created home roots file this is root file this is our module file this is our component file main component file as you can see This is our home HTML file or home component.html file. So it is automatically created. Okay. So you get all the necessary elements here. Like component, module, roots, HTML file. These are automatically created file. So it will save you a lot of time. So that's it for this video and one thing I want to share with you guys is we are publishing an article for creating angular dashboard. It will be full fledged tutorial for creating or e creating an e-commerce dashboard using angular 4. It will be article based tutorial so stay tuned you can bookmark our site dunebook.com too. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your fellow developers too. Okay, goodbye.